One final example, this again is a composition of three functions. So we have an outer function j of u equals u cubed. We have sort of a middle function g of v equals inverse hyperbolic tangent of v. And we have an inner function I'll call f of x equals x squared. And since our, our overall function was named g, I don't want to be using g to mean two different things. So I'm going to change g of v to h of v here. So we have a composition j of h of f of x. And so we'll be using the chain rule. And I'll just put a note down saying that that's the plan here. And one other piece of reference material we'll need is the derivative formula for inverse hyperbolic tangent of x. And on the cover slide to the main tutorial, this derivative was given as 1 over 1 minus x squared. OK, and so differentiating, we're computing derivative of inverse hyperbolic tangent of x squared whole thing cubed. And so by the chain rule, we'll have derivative of the u cubed sort of form, 3 times u squared, so 3 times inverse hyperbolic tangent of x squared whole thing squared, that's a 3u squared sort of thing, times derivative of inverse hyperbolic tangent of x squared, that will give us a 1 over 1 minus innermost function squared. So 1 over 1 minus x squared squared times by the chain rule derivative of x squared which is 2x. And now we just have to put this all together. I'll multiply the 3 times 2x and get 6x. In the denominator we have a 1 minus x to the fourth from the 1 minus x squared squared. And then we have a times inverse hyperbolic tangent of x squared whole thing squared. And that should be our result. So again, the outer structure was a u cubed. We got 3 times the quantity squared times derivative of the quantity. And differentiating that inverse hyperbolic tangent of x squared gave us the 1 over 1 minus x squared squared times 2x. And so that completes this example.